as we try to figure out how to walk in the power uh, of God and the power of Holy Spirit in our lives, uh, today I want to look at one area that is a really big concern for me, and, and I understand it from my own life, and, and I understand it as far as I look around and, and see where others are at. You know, there's a war going on in our lives, and it's between the flesh and the spirit. Right now, there are so many people that are wanting the power of the spirit, yet they're walking in the flesh. You cannot have the power of the spirit, certainly not in the way that we need it to be, if we choose to walk in the flesh. Uh, you know, Galatians chapter 5 talks about this war that's going on. Uh, and it says that there's a war between the, the flesh and the spirit. And that if, if we walk in, in, and Romans 8 also talks about this, if we walk in, in the, the flesh, we're going to bring about death. We're going to bring about sin. We're going to embrace the things of this world, and we're going to get our focus off of God. But if we embrace the Spirit, now, none of us are perfect. And I'm not saying that we, we've got to walk in perfection. But what I am saying is that we've got to get our focus on the Lord, on the on His Word, in prayer, and we've got to be going in His direction for the power of His Spirit to move in our lives. We got to get the junk out of our lives so that He can fill us with His Spirit and His power. But so many people are unwilling to give up the flesh. They want both. They want to go to heaven. They want to walk with the Lord. They want to do great things for Him. But they continue to choose the world instead. They choose to gratify the flesh. And you can't do that, especially if you want to be effective in the kingdom of God. And one of the, the problems with it is that when the world looks at us, and if they see that we're gratifying the flesh, we're chasing after the flesh, we look just like they do. There's nothing that separates us from them. God says that we are to be a peculiar people. People, We're supposed to stand out. We're supposed to be different. Uh, and if you're in a place and you're just like, I want to walk in the Spirit, but I don't know how to do that, then you need to get your eyes focused on Jesus. You need to understand that He is the one that can set you free. Uh, Titus uh, tells us that uh, his God's grace, so much uh, talk about God's grace is is. That, that it's unmerited favor, but it also is more powerful that, than that. Titus tells us that uh, God's grace teaches us to say no to sin. So we've got to cry out for the power of God to overcome temptation, to overcome sin. And sometimes if there's a, a spiritual bondage in our life, we've got to be set free from that bondage. And we're going to talk about that when we get into our spiritual warfare uh, discussion. But right now, I just want to encourage you. If you're chasing after the flesh, if you're chasing after worldly things, there's nothing wrong with enjoying the things of this world, but when they become our priorities, when we cannot say no to the flesh, there is a problem. When that is our master, uh, we can only serve one master. And when we choose to, to make the flesh the master, that is easy to do. My, my goodness, it is easy to do. But when we do that, we're going to reap the rewards of the flesh, and it's not good. Uh, you know, Galatians 5 talks about all of the sinful nature uh, that comes from feeding the flesh. But he says, if you want the fruit of the Spirit, you've got to embrace the Spirit. You've got to live and be led of the Spirit. You know, John uh, chapter 14, beginning in uh, verse 30. These are the words of Jesus. He says, I will no longer, he's talking to his disciples uh, and he's preparing them for his death. He says, I will no longer talk with, much with you for the ruler of this world is coming and he has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the father. And as the father gave me commandment, so I do arise, let us go from here. So he says, you know, the ruler of this world has nothing in me. I've been living by the spirit. I've been led of the spirit. I've been denying self. I've been dying to, to self. I've been pushing the, the flesh man down so that I can keep the enemy out. That's what he's saying there. If you want to, to live by the spirit and not by the flesh, you've got to keep your guard up and you've got to get the world out of you. That's easier said than done, but we've got to follow the example of Jesus. And I'm telling you, it's so important. If you want the power of God in your life, you've got to seek it. You've got to seek him. You've got to get desperate for him. And you've got to stop feeding your flesh. Some days you've got to just wake up and say, and tell your 
flesh man, not today, buddy. We're not going there. And get your head in the game, get in the word, get in on your knees in prayer, repent, and turn your eyes upon Jesus so that he can set you free, so that the spirit can have room. We don't, we don't allow him to have room so often, but if we want his power, we've got to give him the room. Let him lead you and let him fill you, and you're going to be amazed at what he can do in your life if you'll only get out of the way. Today, if you need ministry, you need prayer, I am on your side. I want to do what I can to help you. Reach out to me, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, email at curtisrootsbythestream.com. I love you and I'm praying for you. God is on the throne and Jesus is coming back soon. Have a great day.